And welcome back to Let's Play Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Last time we got through the first five stages, and this time we're tackling Shy Guy Heights. This is not an easy level, because it's a stealth level. We can't be seen by the Shy Guys. Uh, it might not seem that bad. Maybe it already sounds like it'd be terrible, but it's it's a thing. Um, turn off your headlamp. That is advice number one. It doesn't actually do anything in this level, but for future stealth levels, turn off your headlamp. I'm turning it off here because one, I don't need it, and two, I just want to make a habit of it. You can do this to take out the shy guy if you so desire, and I would highly recommend taking them out. So basically, we have two types of Shy Guy behavior. We got the reds and the blues. The reds patrol, the blues actually just circle a specific area. Now unlike the Captain Toad stages in the base game, uh, we actually don't have to worry about uh, time limits. So we are gonna take our sweet time <laughs> through this here. So, so far so good. Smooth run through the first part of the level. And let's hope- okay, that's a good sign. Let's hope the rest goes well too. So over here we got one of these little spinny things. I don't actually recall these being in the base game. Um, but the objective specifically, just to read it out, is slip past all of the Shy Guys. So, yes, Shy Guys. Not the birds, to my knowledge. We can actually get seen by them. Because <laughs> otherwise, this level would be impossible. So, yay. Yuck. Um, <laughs> yuck. Is all I'm gonna say. I really don't know how to approach this. I'm really not sure how to approach this. Can I? Yes, I can. Thank goodness. Can I hit the guy from down here? Because that'd be nice, but I don't think I can. Also, I'm really getting concerned because I feel like we're missing a lot of gems, but uh, also, uh, speaking of missing gems, uh, we got a little bit of a hidden room here. Luckily, this guy is observant, unobservant, and has no peripheral vision, so he has no problem to us. I feel like this is actually going well, and I'm probably jinxing myself by saying it's going well. Um, if I first try this, I'm gonna be really happy, not gonna lie. Uh, well, so much for first trying it, huh? <laughs> um, so I forgot there's a shy guy there, <laughs> clearly. Um, So I'm just gonna follow behind this guy. I don't think they're alerted to sound, so I'm not gonna have to sweat there. Actually, I can rush. So basically, do everything I did, uh, except get caught by the dude. <laughs> that's that's all there is to it. So I'm not actually going to show that again because I am really happy with that run. I just got caught by the one for the gem. So um. Good on me, I'm gonna do that off screen because it's the same execution, just knocking the gem, it should be a lot easier. Uh, but yes, I will do that off screen. Maybe show it uh, just for the heck of it if there's time at the end of the video. But for now, we have a little bit of a haunted level. This is not easy to control with the camera, by the way, uh, because. It's kind of all backwards because, you know, we're kind of on the ceiling right now. Um, I'm double checking the secret objective if you're wondering why I stopped moving. The secret objective of this level is to collect the gold mushroom. Now, where is the gold mushroom? Who knows? I don't know either because I have not played this game in forever. Uh, so we got another one of these little spin wheels, as they're called. 
So we've got a path here to the gem. Very easy to navigate. So let's try spinning this thing again, shall we? And see what awaits us. Now, now that's a nice little convenient to the top, right? Which is why a nice convenient path. I think I actually left out a word there. Um, looky there, we got the golden mushroom. On the way up, uh, it's in this little nook. That was surprisingly straightforward. Might as well grab the coins so you do have lives to worry about, though they basically never factor in that much. It's a pretty easy game for the most part. There will be levels though where I, I will be dying repeatedly. Uh, do be warned that just because I'm saying, oh yeah, you probably don't need to worry about lives, you should totally worry about lives because, well, I should totally worry about lives because I'm bad at this game. Oh boy, we have a little bit of a special stage here. Flip back and we got coins galore. These are life grinding stages. We're given two choices, the pickaxe and the cherry. We're going with the pickaxe first. Uh, grab the pickaxe, hit all the blocks. Power blocks are designed to basically clear out large rows of coins. Got golden mushrooms for 50. And we got 255 to end off. Not too shabby. It keeps track of your best run across both of the versions, but next time we'll be showing the Double Cherry variant. And we got a minecart stage. I don't know how I'm gonna do this actually, and if it's gonna be particularly fun to do this. Actually, it's gonna- oh. I'm, prob I'm probably going to have to uninvert this just for this level. I prefer inverted. Oh, by the way, your view is on the gamepad, so sorry, but you don't really get to see much of what I'm doing this stage. Um, the mission, though, is to defeat all the little enemies. So, let's defeat all the enemies, hopefully. So, the gamepad gives you a first-person view with, like, a cursor, uh, which makes it a lot easier. To aim. It's actually these are actually pretty good stages, not gonna lie. Um got the gem. <laughs> Again, it's hard to <laughs> illustrate what's happening in this video because uh uh because of weird camera controls. I actually wonder how this is gonna turn out because it's like Will you be able to tell what I'm doing? Uh, the front of the minecart is basically the front, so I mean, I guess you can kind of work it out from there. Um, but yeah. I actually don't know if I did secret mission that time. Uh, I think I got all the little, what was it, pair babies? But I actually wasn't really <laughs> sure. It's actually also hard to do this when you're like trying to talk. Because you're trying to not move too much, but you're also trying to actually aim at things. Okay, we got it. Cool. Pair of bitty buds, that's what they're called. Sweet. Spin wheel bullet bill base. Oh boy, this is gonna be a thing. This is actually a fun level, uh, but it is also terrifying because you have uh, bullet bills everywhere. <laughs> Oh boy. So we got a spin wheel that affects this little center part. Uh, yes, this is actually uh, relevant. Okay, I'm confused already, which is a great sign. I forgot that the, this staircase turned two. That's why I was confused. So, uh... You can also stun things like in 3D World if you were wondering. Uh, that feature is still there. So we got the gem in plain sight there. Uh, we got a thing to shoot over there. Besides, we need to aim in here anyway because we need to grab this. I'm gonna... <laughs> what should I do here? <laughs> Not sure what to do here, by the way, in case you're wondering while I'm thinking about what to actually do to proceed, I actually need to unvert the camera 
This is gonna get old, actually. Um, the secret mission is to find the gold mushroom. So, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. At least in the variant of this stage, but not in the vanilla version, sadly. So, uh, this should be fun. There was actually a variant, sort of like 3D World, they reused a lot of levels. So, um, get ready for that. You can tap the blocks to get coins instead of trying to maneuver the uh, bird to try to um, get the coins. I recommend not using the bird for the sake of convenience. That is not the right way. Okay, how are we supposed to get this again? I actually don't remember. Um, oh, I'm dumb. I know exactly how to get that, actually. I just kind of was running and it got on the platform instinctively, even though I actually can't do anything. So we gotta kind of aim, which is hard, while the platform is moving. I'm actually gonna turn it this way so I don't get hit by accident. Grab this. I like how the first gem is I missed. Where the heck is the star, you may be wondering? Good question, but I, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. So I'm not gonna do that other thing, I'm gonna do this first. Tilt it like this, and we got the golden mushroom. Tilt it more, and you get the star. But we have to go back for the other thing, oh joy. <laughs> um, actually, I might be locked out of it. Yeah, I'm totally locked out of it. But basically, like, okay, I can point. Got this little platform here. Gotta turn this so you can get the gem inside the staircase. Um, honestly, I don't feel like that's worth restarting the entire level just to show. So, there. A brief illustration. <laughs> Thank god this game has a touch screen so I can point out the stuff I missed. So I'm gonna go get that most likely off screen because it's literally just how I described it. I might show it at the end if this next level doesn't take too long, but I think it's gonna take too long. Um, King of Pyropuff Peak. This is our first, air quote, boss stage. Yes, this game actually has boss fights. Why? Because why not? Uh, it's a puzzle game, but that doesn't mean it's not a Mario game. I'm looking at the secret mission if you wonder why I'm not moving yet. The secret mission is to collect 45 coins, so that's easy. I say that now, but I will probably find a way to muck it up. Mark my words. That's King Pyropuff, by the way, I think. Based on the stage name, I'm just guessing. Uh, he also appears in the game Paper Mario Color Splash. A game that also should have been in the budget line for the Wii U, but it wasn't. It was a full price game. I, I defend Color Splash, but uh, I can still acknowledge I... I kind of feel like it shouldn't have been a full price game. So I'll probably die, because <laughs> I took a hit already. Uh, because also we need to get a mushroom. Oh shoot. Why, why did I fall so fast? Because I was holding Y? So don't hold Y. Don't press Y while going down a ladder and you'll plummet. And that, that's bad. This is also bad. <laughs> uh, running out behind the thing too soon. Yeah, I might have screwed up because I can't get the 10 coins from the mushroom. Maybe they took that into account, maybe not, but that's the end of the stage, so, uh... Rip. Potentially. Um... I think this is the end of the stage. Pretty sure it is. No, it, it isn't. We're fine. This is 10 coins. There should be 10 coins over there, in that little... ...thing over there. Shrub, I guess would be the word. I actually don't know. Not an expert on shrub terminology. <laughs> uh, run! Yeah, we're fine. Once this little fire patch goes away, we can run over to the ladder and... Climb faster, please. Got the star, right? Nope. Uh, we still got the whole raging dragon and... Nope. Actually, he's done. Drop a giant stone pillar on his head, which isn't a good way to go out, I would say, but he's fine. 
Now, that's not just me <laughs> trying to justify Toad literally coming to this guy's lair and dropping a pillar on his head, but yeah, he's fine. He, he'll walk it off. <laughs> that's actually not sarcasm, he appears again later. Uh, fun fact. But not for a little bit. So that's our first boss, believe it or not. Kind of weird having a boss battle already. We're actually making good time through this game. The hunt for the Great Bird's Lair. And Toadette is still in a bit of trouble, so Captain Toad doesn't get to relax. This game's little cutscenes add flavor, but the plot's pretty thin. But I'm okay with that, because it's it does what it needs to do, I guess, so I don't mind that the plot's a little bit short. But we got through the first 10 stages. Maybe we'll get through the next 5. Probably not, because we got a water level with a new... If I'm not mistaken, a new, rather interesting gimmick. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Captain Toad Treasure Tracker.